Wow, cannot believe how good it works. It made a dramatic improvement. Look at that crown, man. I don't know if you can pick up on that in the camera or not, but it's just amazing. Okay, this week on how to build a campground in Maine, we are going to fix our dozer blade because basically these Bobcat dozer blades could grab too much earth. You can go incredibly slow, but basically it keeps biting too much earth because the skid plates aren't big enough and it just makes a mess, you know. And so I saw another gentleman's video on YouTube and I'll put a link to it in the description down below for his video. Basically, I'm going to take that 8 inch C channel right there and make the entire bottom of the dozer blade one long skid plate. And I have to tell you guys, it worked fantastic. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's get after it right now. Okay, here's an update on the dozer blade. It was cutting into the earth too much. So you can see what I did is I fastened this, uh, it's about eight inches, no it is eight inches, C channel. And uh, that piece of steel cost me locally about 160 bucks. So, uh, and what I did to hold it on there is I mounted it to the existing, uh, I don't know what they are, skid pads. And I used these just like the other gentleman said on his channel. I'll put a link to his video in the description down below. I did that on both of them. His dozer blade had uh, wide skid pads in this area. So he put down supports, angles, right in this area in order to um, prevent the steel from bending. But I didn't do that because my skid pads are way out towards the edge. And you can see that's gonna prevent that blade from digging into the ground now, and it's gonna ride more on the surface. So I'm gonna have to apply a lot of pressure from the skid steer. I say a lot, that's probably relative, but um, it's gonna keep it from digging into the ground so I can move along faster and not worry about, you know, catching the earth and then creating this up and down pattern because I constantly try to compensate. So let's give it a shot. Wow, cannot believe how good it works. It made a dramatic improvement. Look at that crown, man. I don't know if you can pick up on that in the camera or not, but it's just amazing. It works so much better for grading. Wow. Super pumped. Ground's a little frozen, but this thing's a beast. So, thank God for YouTube. Okay, what I'd like to say about this solution is that it worked fantastic. I'm really grateful that uh, someone showed how to do this. And uh, it's not a replacement for a grader, but it certainly makes roughing in the gravel much easier. I can do a much better job now. Guys, if you found this video informative and you're a giving person, please give it a like. I know it's small, but it really helps a lot. And if you would like to learn more about building a campground and all that I'm going to be going through to put this campground together, please subscribe to this channel and you'll be the first to find out when I post another video.